If you're thinking about buying a new camera, it's really important to understand the difference between global and rolling shutter, especially as virtual production becomes a new reality for filmmakers. Rolling shutter is much more common in digital cameras today. It captures an image by scanning across the sensor, usually from top to bottom. This sequential exposure means that parts of the sensor are captured at slightly different times, even if it's a matter of mere milliseconds. The main issue with rolling shutters is the potential for rolling shutter artifacts. And while these shortcomings are inconvenient, it's so much cheaper and easier to produce rolling shutters that they're commonplace in the grand majority of digital cinema cameras. Global shutter, on the other hand, captures the entire image at once. Every pixel on the sensor is exposed to light simultaneously. This quality is especially important for action scenes, VFX work, and any situation where a clean moving image is necessary. It's clear that global shutter is ideal for virtual production, but rolling shutters are still very usable, especially with technology like Genlock. What do you think? Do you think it's important for your next camera to have a global shutter?